Tonight brought to you by NBN TV, but here's the French Brothers tyres, modified rod, B grade sprint and Darren Bridge flies the start. Gets away to a pretty good one too over Alan Laville. Very gingerly into the first turn these drivers. Stephen Moore sneaks up into third place or getting into trouble as Alan Lavelle. He goes to the infield allowing Scott Foy into third position. Ian Rickson round the outside in 86. Followed in then by the 26 car. Steve Simmons is next in 66. Followed in by Robert West. Well back. Down and look at Darren Bridge go. Boy oh boy he's put 50 metres on him in this early part of the race with five laps to go. He's got away by about 50 to 60 metres on Moore in second position. Ian Rexon goes up on the inside in third position. He's driving very well at the moment. Rixon in good form. Won't be surprised to see him get up into the A grades very shortly. 26 is that. Oh, Darren Bridge is off the track. The race leader. I don't know what he's done. He come out of turn four very badly there and he's up on the inside. I wonder if he'll come back down to the track now. He does so and he's still in front. Only by about a margin of 10 metres though on Stephen Moore. Oh boy, oh boy. Darren Bidge really blew it then. He had bolted away and the 26 car is right up around the outside to take the challenge but he kisses the fence on the point of turn three. Stephen Moore drops back into third and Ian Rickson fourth. They've now got away from Scott Foy and Robert West and Steve Simmons. John Brennan it is in car 26 who now takes up the challenge on car 35, Jaron Bridge and Brennan looking the better now. Brennan goes up on the outside of Bridge to go after him, oh but he's fun, he had trouble there on the point of turn three once again and this allows Darren Bridge to get away once again. Down with two laps to go in the modified rod B graders and Darren Bridge in the Nova's windscreens, he goes into the lead and he stayed there from the outset. John Brennan coming after him, Bridge in trouble in the slop and John Brennan sweeps to the lead. John Brennan goes to the front now by the space of 15 metres on Darren Bridge, a long way back Stephen Moore, and Ricks and Scott Foy, Robert West, Steve Simmons was back in those and the tail end is a well back, in fact John Brennan could lap a couple of these into the last lap. Darren Bridge, he's had all sorts of handling problems tonight, my goodness, he's really had this race blown to pieces and John Brennan by way of good driving and good management around this tight circuit, he had a couple of problems but got out of them okay and he comes off turn four to score nicely. John Brennan in car 60, 26 will get the checkered flag first. Second in the race goes to the 35 of Darren Bridge, a certainty beaten as they say in the classics. Third is Stephen Moore in 87 and fourth is Ian Rickson in 86, followed in by Scott Foy, Robert West and Steve Simmons. The time recorded by John Brennan in the first heat, 208.971. This is the start to event two, the Tetran Engineering Modified Rod A-Grade Sprint and the leader is Graham Edmund. He leads away from Colin O'Toole who's chasing him very strongly in the opening half lap of the race. He's not going to let Edmund get away from him. Edmund, the leader, O'Toole's drifted out very, very high. He's tried to cross it up and get right down in front of Craig Wrightson. Hampers him badly. Alan Harris trying to go around the outside of uh, 1802, he's backed off, the red light's on, Wrightson slammed into the back end of Harris as they all got balked coming out of that corner and the man who got into trouble was Graham Gillespie in turn three. Alan Harris doesn't seem to be quite happy with the way his uh, white rod number 77 is handling tonight. Start. Now Harris raced to the front, got crossed up in front of everybody and they were forced to back off a little. Wrightson went round the outside of Edmund and went into second place. Edmund dropped back to third and is trying to push back up and does so too on the inside of Wrightson. That's a good determined drive by Edmund to get back up on the inside of Wrightson. Wrightson persisting with that outside uh, drive. Oh, lost a lot of ground there though when he got up too high. Now Harris drifts out again in, the, in turn two, he almost heads towards the, uh, the pit crew sign as they come out of that corner and Edmund handling a lot better goes up on the inside of Harris. Wrightson went through on the inside and really gave him uh, the old shoulder out of the road. O'Toole even got up on the inside of Harris. Harris has gone from first back to fourth in the space of one lap. It just seems to drift out on him on every corner. He cannot get out off the wall. Thank heavens the concrete walls there, he'd end up in the river. Graham Edmonds the leader. Then comes Craig Wrightson and Colin O'Toole. They're running one, two, three. There's a big gap back then to Eric Lavender. Alan Harris who's having all that problems with handling and Neil Gillespie at the tail of the field. But White Flag and Graham Edmund has really shown determination in this race because he was in the lead. He lost the lead, went back to third place. 
got back into second place and then got back to the lead. So it's been a very, very determined drive by Edmund and thoroughly deserves his victory. Comes down to take the chequered flag, a convincing winner. Oh, Colin O'Toole pulled a beautiful inside pass on Craig Wrightson when Wrightson got all crossed up. Wrightson finished third. Eric Lavender in the car number 10 finished fourth. Alan Harris in the 77 was fifth. And Neil Gillespie in the 22 was at the tail of the field.